to portions of Butler County and extreme northwestern Warren County as well. Shane Holland is in here with me. He's going to be keeping us up to date with reports from the National Weather Service along with moving the radar and all the maps for me. But again, this is a tornado warning. It's time to move on to your safe place, especially if you are in northwestern Logan, much of Butler County and extreme northwestern Warren County. So let's go ahead and show them the radar, Shane, if you don't mind, in terms of what we do have going on. Several storms moving from the southwest into the northeast along a squall line right now that's working on through here. You see these little areas where you kind of get this backwards curving S shape and you have these little notches inside. This is where you have that best chance for an isolated spin up tornado. And of course, that is where we do have the start of that tornado warning right now and this best chance for an isolated spin up tornado. In terms of velocity, here's what we're seeing. You have your winds that are blowing towards the radar, your winds that are blowing away from the radar. And it's not overly impressive like what we saw in portions of southern Logan County earlier today. But check this. This right here, just moving through Russellville, that's a chance for some damaging winds. You get up towards Lewisburg and to the north and east, this area right here is kind of where you have your greatest chance for some circulation embedded within that squall line. So right along that northern Logan County into southern Butler County line, this is your greatest chance uh, to see rotation or a possible tornado right now that could be embedded within the thunderstorm. So we want want to keep a very, very close eye on that as that continues to move on to the north and east. It's not overly strong, but you never want to take chances when it comes to these potential embedded spin up tornadoes. They're very quick and oftentimes you don't even get to see them coming. So with the heavy rain that's out there as well, I think it is very important, folks, that we certainly go into our safe places. Once again, this is a tornado warning from extreme northwestern Logan County into uh, much of Butler County and northwestern Warren County. Shane, we're going to pull back up the radar if you don't mind for me so we can show a lot of the folks where a lot of that heaviest rain is as we zoom back in to northwestern Logan County. You still kind of see that notch right there and kind, you kind of have a rotation signal trying to show up right around that. And this is what we're keeping a close eye on as this continues to work its way to the north and east. We've been tracking the squall line of showers and thunderstorms pretty much all day. That's moving through Pinrod right now into extreme southwestern Butler County. That's going to be approaching the Natural Parkway as we go through the next several minutes. And we're still going to be keeping a very close eye on this system. System. Damaging winds possible as we move back to the south through Logan County right now. We're really going to keep an eye on that damaging wind potential. Logan County had some serious storms earlier today. We did have what is believed to be a tornado produce some fatalities across Logan County, and now they're getting hit with round two as this next line of showers and thunderstorms works on through. Here's the thing. We have had so much rain, folks, so much rain. The ground cannot hold any more water at this point. So now you're talking the potential for flash flooding in any low lying area. It doesn't matter if there's a creek or stream nearby. The ground can't hold the water. The water is going to run down to those lowest lying areas. So we're dealing with the flash flood threat in addition to the tornado threat. And then on top of that, the ground is not strong enough to hold a lot of those trees up anymore. So it doesn't take much wind to bring down the trees. So you could be dealing with a damaging wind threat that's going to bring down a lot of trees and power lines. You have the flash flood threat. And on top of that, we have the tornado warning that's going on right now. And this is for extreme northwestern Warren County working through portions of Butler County right now. Here's a lot of the communities that could be impacted. You get to Davis Crossroads, that'll be in your area by 929, Sugar Grove by 934. Woodbury is on the edge of the polygon. You're looking at impacts from this system at 939. That could be in Greencastle by 942, and then off to Seagal by 950. So the next 20 to 30 minutes, we're going to watch this move throughout these counties and bring lots of heavy rain for sure. And then along with that potential for some damaging winds and a possible tornado that is could be embedded within the system. And that's why we're keeping a very close eye on this. The heaviest rain further to the south right now, we're still tracking the heaviest rain across Logan County, but the greatest rotation now starting to enter southern portions of Butler County. And we're watching this cell in particular that just developed as it continues to make its way to the north and east. We're pulling back up velocity. You kind of see what we call our velocity couplet kind of embedded within this, right where you see these little notches. The green is flowing 
to away from the radar. And then, of course, you have your red that's flowing towards the radar. I'm sorry, green towards the radar, red away from the radar. But you see these little notches, and this is where you do have that greatest possibility of an isolated spin-up tornado that is trying to take place. We put this in motion over the past hour, and you see how this has moved just to the north and east of Lewisburg now. And this region, as it's starting to move into portions of Butler County, has the greatest chance for a possible tornado. So if you live in extreme northern Logan County to the east of Lewisburg and extreme southern Butler County, you want to be in your safe place right now as we do have the potential for a possible tornado. Shane, what can you tell us is going on in terms of reports from the Weather Service right about now? Uh, right now, of course, we have the one tornado warning there for northern Logan County for the rotation that's moving into southern Butler County, but also keeping a close eye on what's going on just to the south of the Kentucky-Tennessee line on the other area of concern, and that would be over western Robertson County, right in this area here, just southwest of Adairville. There's also rotation going on there. I'm going to bring back up velocity here, and you'll notice that just southwest of Adairville, and I will zoom in a little closer to this area, this is a tornado-worn cell just across the line in northern middle Tennessee and you notice it close to Barron Plain this is not too far away from Adams not too far away from Keysburg where we had the unfortunate uh, tornado fatality earlier this afternoon this is just a few miles south of there where we have strong rotation noted on radar yet again so please be aware of this if you live in southern Logan County around Adairville over to Keysburg unfortunately uh, you're at risk once again for another possible tornado not too far away from you that's right, and a lot of these areas being hit hard earlier, once again, it's going to be very easy to bring down trees and power lines that may not have been affected by the first round of some storms that came on through. And if you live in southern Logan County, you are not under a tornado warning from this, but northern Robertson County in Tennessee is under a tornado warning from this. So we're going to watch this very closely. We're also watching the extreme winds or the potential for some damaging winds that is moving through Logan County right now. So that is going to be a threat that you guys have to deal with. I wouldn't be surprised to see some downed trees. And you've got a severe thunderstorm warning through portions of Logan County that goes all the way into Simpson County that also includes the city of Bowling Green the severe thunderstorm warning includes the city of Bowling Green and pretty much all of western Warren County the tornado warning has now been canceled for Logan County but as you work through Butler County and the extreme northwestern tip of Warren County this is where you still see that tornado warning continuing right now this is aimed at the Jetson community Morgantown is included in this shade if you don't mind zooming in on this so we can get some of the other towns that could likely be impacted by this potential tornado warning as it continues to come on through you work up the natural you work up 231 and all of you guys could be looking at a possible tornado from this thunderstorm. Greencastle, you guys might want to be on the watch out for this one. Welch's Creek, you're on the northern side of this, so you're not included just yet, but the city of Morgantown is included in this tornado warning. If you live in Morgantown, you want to make sure that you are taking some shelter. Woodbury, you want to make sure that you are taking some shelter. Sunfish, this could be in your area by 952 and Sadler by 956. So right now, if you are in Logan or Butler County in particular, make sure that you are getting to your safe space as we continue to track the latest with this possible tornado that we could have, at least the storm, is capable of producing a tor another tornado. And of course, we have seen the velocity showing the rotation, and the rotation has been very much evident uh, in Logan County in terms of the th tornado warned storm for Robertson County, Tennessee, and it's also been very well evident for what we've seen now entering portions of Butler County. We want to keep a very close eye on the Shane is continuing to monitor reports from the Weather Service and from our spotters out there who are telling us what's happening on the ground. But for you guys, don't worry about going outside. Don't worry about going to look at this. It's important that you are taking shelter just as fast as you can in a safe place. Remember, you want to make sure that you're on the lowest level of your home and with as many walls between you and the outside as possible. Protect your head, protect your neck, protect your torso. Shane, what do you have for us? Now, Chris, I'm going to interrupt you here. We have a new tornado warning coming down for sections of Butler, Logan, and Warren. I'll pop it up here for you graphically in a moment. This will be a new tornado warning for sections of Butler, Logan, and Warren until 10 o'clock 
this evening as we are getting uh, some new thunderstorms here on the march toward Bowling Green. I'm going to uh, fan this view here a little more south to show you what's going on through uh, Logan County. And we will uh, show you again that uh, new warnings are coming down here. Let's pop those up for you. Again, there's that new tornado warning, and it does take in the city, the city of Bowling, Bowling Green, Green now. This All one right, until folks. 10 o'clock. All right, if you are in Bowling Green, it is now time to seek shelter once again. The campus of Western Kentucky University. You get up uh, WUP 185 towards the Anna community, towards Richardsville. It's time to take shelter now as we do have another tornado warning. And this time it includes a large portion of Warren County and the city of Bowling Green. And we're going to be watching this one very closely. This is the second, now third, actually, tornado warning to move through the area today. And we're going to keep a very close eye on this one. So far in Warren County, we've been lucky. A lot of the other counties to our south and west, not so lucky today. And we don't want to take any chances with this as we continue to watch this next storm system work its way to the north and east. It'll likely have impacts on Warren County. Shane, if you don't mind showing us where that greatest rotation is with this one and popping up the uh, arrow for you so our viewers can see this. But here's that rotation right now, an extreme northeastern Logan County right now. This is impacting the Bowling Green area and a lot of those surrounding communities um, that has potentially led to some fatalities as well with those covered roadways. So we want to make sure that we are aware of all the threats we have on the table. It's not just tornadoes. That is the lowest threat, believe it or not. Damaging winds can cause more damage than a tornado. Flooding is more dangerous than damaging winds and tornadoes. And that's the reason we want to make sure that you guys are all up to date. Shane, if you don't mind zooming in on this once again for me so we can show everyone where that greatest heavy rainfall associated with this new tornado warning is. And that is going to be impacting the Bowling Green and Warren County communities. Here it is moving out of Logan County. You kind of see that little S shape uh, trying to move on in and the lightning is actually showing up, which is signs of some intensification. So we want to keep a very close eye on this as it starts to work its way. And this is coming up 6880 towards Bowling Green right now. So we'll have to be careful here at our studios as well as we track this system moving on through. Um, and if you live on the southwestern side, of Warren County. This is the Woodbury community. Lots of places along 6880. You want to make sure that you are aware that you are under a tornado warning. And here's the heavy rainfall and the wind gusts that are going to be coming out out ahead of that uh, for the next several minutes. Shane, what's the update from you over there? Well, I'm going to take you to our live AAA Systems webcam looking west down Russellville Road. We will be seeing winds picking up big time here. There's some lightning, there's lightning showing up. And the wind will be picking up in the next 10 minutes or so as the line is working its way into the western part of Warren County. As we watch this, I want to share with you some reports going on to the west of us and also southwest, uh, namely from the Hopkinsville area where we could have had another possible tornado touchdown within the last uh, half hour as the line came through there. We understand from the National Weather Service in Hopkinsville and emergency management in Christian County reporting that numerous buildings with damage have been reported in Christian County, including a damage to a Kmart, along with the second story of an apartment complex there, and numerous power outages also being reported now in the Hopkinsville area. Again, that as the same line of storms came through there a short while ago. Also getting reports from the Clarksville area of a significant damage there with homes damaged and also minor injuries now being reported in the Clarksville area just across the line down in Tennessee. We also understand that grocery store windows have been blown out in Montgomery County, Tennessee, and Clarksville, and there is roof damage done to Austin Peay State University, uh, also in Clarksville. So just giving you some idea of the kind of weather that's getting closer and closer now to Bowling Green. As you look live there outside our studios, again, some wind right now, some way, rain, but that's going to really pick up here in the next little bit, Chris. That's right. We're watching the most intense rainfall start to move back into western portions of Warren County. I can see that on the radar behind you, Shane, if you don't mind popping that up. And we're going to watch the rains continue to increase as we go through the next several minutes. Here is that heaviest rain now starting to move in to western Warren County, and the possible tornado is embedded within this. So don't go outside. Please do not go outside trying to look for it. The fact of the matter is it's going to be shielded by rain 
It's night, it's just too dangerous. Make sure that you are just in shelter and away from windows. And that includes pretty much all of Western uh, Warren County. Shane, if you don't mind popping up the polygon on this as well, so folks can see the outline of that warning and where that tornado warning is, because it will likely have impacts for a lot of folks as this begins to move on through. It is not confirmed that there is a tornado on the ground, but we will be seeing the lightning. You will be hearing the thunder. And of course, you'll be hearing those gusty winds out there. And once again, this includes Includes Bowling Green, pretty much from the Natchiron I-65 interchange all the way up uh, towards the Plum Springs area, back up towards Richardsville and the Anna community, and that's going to come all the way back to the south and west towards Woodbury, all under that tornado warning. And that tornado warning, folks, this is going to go all the way until 10 o'clock. We're going to track this tornado warning, so you do want to make sure that you are in your safe place. If you are in Warren County, if you are in the city of Bowling Green, don't wait till the last minute. It's nighttime. You won't be able to see anything. It's just best to make sure that you are in your shelter. Try not to be on the roads. Here's that greatest region of rotation right now entering portions of Warren County right along 6880, and we're going to continue to watch that as it moves into town tracking to the north and west. Now, here's how it's moved over the past uh, couple of minutes or so. And we've got a couple regions of rotation trying to show up. You've got one in this region of Logan or Warren County, it's extreme northwest or southwest Warren County, excuse me. And then another one in northeastern Logan County trying to show up, moving just to the north and west of the Woodburn community. And that's the primary one that our tornado warning is issued off of. And so if you live along 6880 towards 242, you're starting to get in on the wind gusts that are coming into the picture, but it's most important that you make sure that you are taking shelter. 31W, if you live along 31W in Warren County, make sure that you are getting into your shelter. So a lot of these subdivisions out by South Warren High School, Make sure that you are seeking your shelter out there. A lot of the subdivisions uh, that include Red Maple Road, make sure that you are seeking shelter if you live out in that location um, and anywhere along Russellville Road in southwestern Warren County, 6880, and up towards Richardsville, Anna, and back towards Woodbury, and including the city of Bowling Green. Um, make sure that you are in shelter right now. The heavy rain starting to impact the western half of Bowling Green right now. This is up the natural towards the Glen Lily Road area, Briggs Hill, you guys getting in on the heavy rain. Morgantown Road going up towards Butler County, getting in on a lot of the heavy rain right now. And then the embedded tornado right now is just to the northwest of the Woodburn community or the possible embedded tornado. Excuse me. We are not sure that there is a tornado on the ground. We just know that there is a possible tornado with this and that the storm is capable of producing one. We're looking outside. We still see the rain starting to come down and the winds are going to be picking up over time. This is right outside of our studios and you see the camera starting to glisten up. Shane is going to step outside, it looks like, or he's watching the cameras as well. Uh, we do hear the wind starting to impact the doors of our studios, and let's see what Shane is getting ready to show us. Here's another live look outside. Notice the camera starting to shake in the wind a little bit. This is looking towards the Hills Dog Food Plant. Uh, you've got the cloud cover out there. We're going to turn this camera now facing back to the south and west to see just what we may be able to see coming at us from the south and west, where the greatest possible of some rotation is. You might be dealing with uh, several flashes of lightning out ahead of this. Notice wow. the rainfall starting to pick up, folks. The rain is really coming down out there. The wind is coming down. Shane, are you peeking outside? Oh, uh, yeah, I just took a peek outside a minute ago, and it's hard to see over to the Natural Parkway now from the wind and the rain. Really strong winds coming in here now. I'd say the winds are gusting around 50 miles an hour at least. Yeah, we can hear the winds now uh, the starting to hit the back door of the studio. So, there, folks, there are very gusty winds with this and with the saturated ground. It is possible, even without a tornado, that we could see some trees coming down. We could see some power lines coming down. Power outages are certain to be or are something to be aware of as well. A lot of those low-lying areas that commonly flood here in Warren County, you want to make sure that you're mindful of. A big one is Fairview Plaza. It floods with the shower, and you talk about the rain that we've had all this time, the heavy rain coming down right now. And honestly, we're at, there goes the lightning once again. But with us being under a tornado warning and the heavy rain coming down, avoid 
Fairview Plaza right now. That's a common flood spot. Several common flood spots in Warren County. Make sure that you are avoiding those at all costs. The ground's so saturated, it really cannot take any more water, folks. The lights just flickered in here, Shane. Did you Chris, see that? Chris, we're getting word of power outages in Rockfield over in western Warren County right. now. So power outages in Rockfield. Any other power outages so far that we know uh, of? The only report I've got so far... All right. Continue to check. But I wouldn't be surprised if we get some more here in the city shortly. Absolutely. Those gusts of winds coming through, we're still hearing those in the station studio. You still see the heavy rain. This is outside looking towards the south and west near 6880 right now. A few folks on the road. Uh, if you are planning to travel on the roads, folks, just don't travel right now. We've got a lot of storms coming through. If it is possible, if you have to work your way to the west later on this evening, if it's possible, uh, for you to stay over uh, at a family friend's house or something like that just to avoid driving in the weather tonight. That would be advised because you're going to be dealing with flooded roadways in some locations along with the damaging wind threat. You could run into an issue of trees. And then, of course, as we've heard from our counties to the south and west, there has been reports of damage, especially across portions of Christian County along with Trigg County, all dealing with that damage. Um, and there's a lightning once again. And the more lightning strikes we see, that's also an example of just how intense the storm is. It sounds like we could be getting an update, Shane. Uh, what's coming down on the updates from the system? Okay, just a retransmit on the tornado warning still active for both Butler and Warren counties. There went the power. And our power taking a hit here at the station. As we mentioned that, power outage is now beginning to roll in. Several reports here, including power out in Memphis Junction that is no more than a half mile west of our studios here on Russellville Road. Also getting reports of power out on a Faculty Avenue. Uh, here in Bowling Green. As that comes down, the uh, tornado warning that had been in effect for Logan County was just dropped by the National Weather Service in Louisville. But again, it remains in effect for both Butler and Warren counties as we just now get a report of power out also in the Chandler's Chapel area that would be in northeast Logan County. So they're coming in left and right now, Chris. All right, we're going to keep those tornado warnings going until at least 10 o'clock. So folks, the next 17 minutes, we will remain under that tornado warning. Our anchors are going to come in and they're at least going to get ready for 13 news at 10. But as long as we have severe weather, we're going to be here covering the weather for you guys in terms of what we have going on outside right now. But this tornado warning still including a large portion of central and north Western Warren County right now. It does still include the city of Bowling Green. Now, if you live down in Alvaton and you're wondering about this, Alvaton not included in this. Woodbury is or Woodburn still included in this tornado warning. That's going to go all the way towards Plum Springs as well. The city of Bowling Green, the campus of Western Kentucky University under this tornado warning. Lots of folks without power. No word if we have power lines down or any trees down just yet. If you hear of that, Please report it to us. Don't take a picture of it, but if you hear of that, make sure that we know of it uh, so that we can get that reported to officials so we can get some damage surveys going into tomorrow if there is indeed some damage. But again, a tornado warning that's going to go for about the next 15 minutes. And if you live in Warren County, the best place to seek shelter is in the lowest level of your home. Make sure that you are away from windows. Put as many walls between you and the outside as possible as we continue to track this on through town. If you live in a mobile home, the best thing to do is to not be in that mobile home. You want to make sure that you are in a sturdier shelter that has a ground-rooted foundation. Mobile homes, unfortunately, can be tossed like toys when it comes to just high wind in general. So want, you want to make sure that you are in the safest place. We do have a new severe thunderstorm warning coming out until 1030 now. That is for portions of southern Simpson County into a large portion of Allen County. This new severe thunderstorm warning that has been issued. So they're coming left and right. We're still starting to get more and more of those warnings coming out as this line of strong to severe thunderstorms moves through here. We're also de dealing with the threat of damaging wind as this continues to work on through town. And we want to make sure that everyone is safe and aware of what's going on. The wind's starting to relax just a little bit uh, here at the studios, but I want to see what's going on in terms of velocity, Shane, if you don't mind, uh, with what's going through Warren County. Here's, of course, the radar moving Moving through Bowling Green and the leading edge of that starting to enter eastern Warren County now. The leading edge of this heavy rain is where we're going to see the greatest potential, folks, for uh, the damaging wind and the gusty winds like what just came through our part 
of the area. The rotation with this still present, not as defined as it was, which is good news, but we still do see at least the possibility of some rotation across uh, the western part of Warren County as this continues to come through. Several updates just came in from the Weather Service chat. Shane, if you don't mind, uh, what's going on there? Uh, checking for updates here locally. A lot going on in the Louisville area right now with flooding concerns there, including a flash flood emergency up in Jefferson County for the Louisville metro area for those of you with concerns there. Uh, you just mentioned the new severe thunderstorm warning. That's for Allen and Simpson County. That goes until uh, 1030. Lots of reports now rolling in. Uh, power outages here locally, including power out over at Blue Level Road. Also report from a viewer of uh, power outage on the square now in downtown Bowling Green. A report also of hail along US 231 Morgantown Road on the northwest side of Bowling Green. Don't know the size of that. Haven't talked much about the hail threat with this. I don't think hail is going to be that big in size with the storms here tonight, uh, but Absolutely. nonetheless, we it's can possible. pull up the hail, uh, hail uh, core for us to sure. see what kind of size hail we might be dealing with in Warren County. Of course, hail not the primary threats with this. It's more so flash flooding. And, and here's that possibility of some hail. Notice it kind of barely shows up. So any hail that might be falling right now, small hail, less than half of an inch at this point. So it's not meeting severe criteria in terms of hail, but nonetheless, you could be dealing with some hail out there as this works uh, from the south and west and to the north and east. And likely this is now through downtown Bowling Green and working towards Plum Springs up towards Smith's Grove. We're going to continue to watch this uh, severe thunderstorm that is capable of producing a tornado continue to move on through for the next 12 minutes, working through uh, the Warren County area. That's going to be moving towards Edmonton County as well. And I know a lot of folks in Edmonton County uh, have been watching these storms pretty much all day long, concerned about what that could mean for you guys in Edmonton County, especially after seeing what happened to our friends in Logan County earlier today. And we're going to be watching this one for you guys in Edmonton County. So far, no warnings for Edmonton County as of yet, but there could be some heavy rain and some gusty winds moving towards you guys. The worst of the threat right now is across central Warren County. We're going to continue to watch that over the next several hours. Here's the squall line and you you see this little S shape to the squall line. Shane, if you don't mind drawing that on me with the draw action there, we have these kind of S curved squall lines that you see going up right there. These are some of those squall lines that actually have the greatest chance to have some embedded tornadoes with them, especially when you have these little curve areas. You have your damaging wind threat out ahead of that where it kind of bows out, where it bows in. That's oftentimes where you kind of see those spin up tornadoes beginning to develop. And that's what we're going to continue to watch. In fact, that area in Warren County now starting to bow out just a little bit more, which would make this a little bit of good news in terms of the tornado threat, bad news in terms of the damaging wind threat. Because looking along I-65 south of the Natcher, well, now you essentially went from nothing to those very bright radar returns, and that's where you have one of the greatest potentials for some damaging wind along with this rolling through. And once again, that could likely bring down trees and power lines as the ground is just so saturated from a lot of the rainfall that we've had. But we're continuing to watch this right now. And Shane, if you don't mind zooming in on this area right here that's trying to show up, it looks like an area of weak rotation, at least trying to pop up uh, to the north and west of Bowling Green as of now. We're going to keep a very close eye on this one. This is uh, around the Plum Springs community, a little bit to the north and west between Greencastle. We'll watch that one. So far, it's not overly impressive, but we'll keep a close eye on that as that moves on through. But most of this is a heavy rain threat. Now moving to the east of Bowling Green in terms of the heaviest rain and the wind and the greatest rotation really starting to weaken just a little bit. Some areas of weak rotation embedded in that we'll keep a close eye on. The damaging wind threat once again approaching I-65 uh, from the Natural Parkway south through Simpson County towards Franklin. And we're going to watch that over the next several minutes as this pushes on through as well. We've got another 10 minutes on that tornado warning. We'll see if the Weather Service decides to expand that as we go through the next 10 minutes. But of course, we do want to make sure that everyone is in their safe place as you're through Warren County right now um, until we get the all clear from the Weather Service on what's coming down. We want to make sure that no one is necessarily taking their chances. Shane has more information for us. Shane, what have you got? Yeah, report now of some power outages beginning to show up on the east side 
of the city. Now closer to I-65, also the Plano community. Report of some gusty winds, heavy rain there. That's going to be working now into the Alberton area uh, shortly. And also, we are getting reports of the Hopkinsville area. Uh, more significant damage there uh, earlier as we have a new severe thunderstorm warning. This is coming down for sections of Barron, Edmondson, Hart, Metcalf, and Warren counties. I'll show this to you graphically in a moment. That is a severe thunderstorm warning now. That's going to go until the bottom of the hour at 1030. All right, so there here it is. is the new severe thunderstorm warning, um, and this is going to move through portions of Edmondson, uh, Barron, and Hart counties right now as we go till about 1030. And this, folks, not a tornado warning, but a new severe thunderstorm warning moving on to the north and east. So far, the tornado warning still including portions of Warren County that has not been extended at this time. Of course, we do have some flood advisories along the rivers as well, but this one now a tour or a severe thunderstorm warning and that's pushing to the north and east here's glasgow you guys are right on the line of that polygon there as you move north of glasgow um, this is where you're kind of dealing with the greatest chance for severe thunderstorm to move on through. The primary threat is going to be damaging wind. And we've watched that damaging wind threat pretty much hang out through south central Kentucky all day long. And this is what the attention is turning to as these storms continue to race their way to the north and east at a rapid fire pace. So we're going to continue to track uh, that severe thunderstorm. And if you're impacted by a severe thunderstorm, maybe you don't want us necessarily seek shelter but you still should make sure that you're on the lowest level of your home and away from windows with as many walls between you and the outside because damaging winds can still fling debris at your home damaging winds can still rip roofs off homes so you still want to make sure that you're at least in shelter because damaging winds and tornadoes can still have impact on structure as they race on through Rocky Hill this will be moving through your area by about 1002 horse cave by 1020 Glasgow could likely see impacts from this cell moving on through by about 1026 that'll move to Temple Hill by 1040 Campbellsville uh, could be impacted by these as this continues to race to the north and east but by the time it gets to Taylor County will be around midnight at that point and that's when you want to make sure that you have your ready weather radios on hand um, because essentially when you go to bed you still want to make sure that you have a way to get warnings as this severe weather continues to work on to the north and east and so when you're asleep that's one of the most dangerous times in terms of impact uh, from the severe weather coming through because a lot of people don't get those warnings so make sure that your weather radios are ready to go as we continue to track these storms through the night now that we're beginning to transition into those later nighttime hours shane a couple of wind reports here from a couple of sites in and around bowling green one the airport asos there reported a wind gust to 50 knots that would equate to 60 miles an hour that is severe criteria that occurred there uh, about 15 minutes ago also report of a wind gust to 51 miles an hour at the Kentucky Mesonet site on the WKU farm on the south side of the city. So that confirms uh, what I suspected a little while ago as that gust front came through here at the station that we had wind gusts on the order of 50 to 60 miles an hour. All right, lots of damaging winds possible out there. Any damage reports, Shane, coming in with that? Uh, no significant damage as far as power poles down or trees down. And again, if you do have anything like that, uh, please pass us along a message as long as it's safe to do so to our WBKO television Facebook page on Twitter. Let us know. Uh, power outages, though, we've got quite a few of those. Power out now in the Anna Sandhill area. That would be in the northern part of Warren County. And also just reported in at Breckenridge County, a peak wind gust of 42 miles an hour at the Kentucky Mesonet station there. So if there's any good news for the moment, Chris, is that the tornado warning, it's coming down for... Warren County, it's also going to be coming down for uh, Butler County here at the top of the hour. We're seeing those replaced by severe thunderstorm warnings. That's the lesser of the two evils here, so to speak. But please keep in mind that the wind gusts could be in the neighborhood of 50 to 60 miles an hour. And even a 50 mile per hour gust with soil so saturated, 
that could take down some trees, especially top heavy trees. Absolutely, and that's something to keep in mind, especially if you're in a largely wooded area that you could see trees coming down. And that's something to be aware of, uh, that that's one of the threats with these wind gusts that are coming on through here. But that is good news that we are now starting to see the tornado threat in Warren County subside just a little bit. We're losing a lot of the rotation as these storms begin to become what we call outflow dominant. And a lot of the winds are racing out of that, but then you have the damaging winds uh, from the winds gusts that are pushing out of the storm. And we're going to continue to track uh, these showers and thunderstorms through the area. Shane, that thunderstorm, the tornado warning still up for now for at least the next uh, four minutes. But what do you have right. for us? I uh, do want to remind everybody for those that can't watch television right now seeking shelter. Uh, we are simulcasting our coverage on Sam 100.7 FM here in Bowling Green and power outages they continue to roll in here now getting word of power outages in Plum Springs that would be on the northeast side of the city as the line has just come through there also reports of power outages in the Auburn area as the line came through there uh, about a half an hour or so ago so Barron County heads up for you Hart County heads up for you expect some power outages as the wind will gust 50 to 60 miles an hour Perhaps some down trees, perhaps some down power lines. But again, right now, the good news at the moment is that we don't see anything tornadic out of this line. We hope to keep it that way. Absolutely, we do. And then, of course, we have seen lots of structural damage to the south and west. It looks like so far no reports of some structural damage in Warren and Butler counties, which is good news. But nonetheless, as these damaging winds continue to roll on through, we could see lots of down power outages or down power lines and down trees. And that's something we do want to make sure that we are aware of as this continues to work its way to the north and east. Once again, Rocky Hill by 1002. So that's in the next five minutes that could be impacting your area there. We're watching a lot of these now start to move towards the Smith's Grove area. So along, uh, along Interstate 65 towards Smith's Grove, you guys likely could be impacted by this severe thunderstorm as it continues to race on through. Expect winds to get very gusty for you guys in a matter of just moments. Rocky Hill in extreme southern Butler County. Winds are going to start getting cranking for That'd you guys. Edmondson County. Edmondson County. Yes, there. Edmondson County. Thank you, Shay. Excuse me. But the winds will start to get gusty for you guys as well. Brownsville to the north and west of a lot of this, but you do have a batch of some decent rainfall that are starting to work on through if you get to the southeastern tip of Edmondson County this is where we'll watch the next round for the potential of some damaging winds and that will eventually cross into Butler County along the Cumberland Parkway right along that Cumberland Parkway and I-65 interchange there this is where we'll start to see those winds gusting on up but the good news is at least right now there is not a tornado threat with this but we're still going to watch uh, that tornado warning as we wait for that to expire across portions of central Warren County and we don't want to come out of our shelters just yet because we do still have that warning but as this continues to work its way to the east of the Bowling Green area eventually we'll start to watch that severe threat begin to subside just a little bit. Shane? And yeah, the weather service confirming Chris they're going to let that tornado warning expire now at the top of the hour so within another minute that warning will be off the table here again the tornado threat coming down Severe weather threat, though, still very much there now along and east of I-65. It'll be there in Glasgow in short order, also Cave City, and then up into sections of southern Hart County, eventually Hardyville, getting in on the action as well. Brownsville kind of on the northern edge of the heaviest rain right now, dealing with some wind there, but not as strong as what we've dealt with in Bowling Green and immediately surrounding areas within the last little bit, Chris. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and step off screen so that we can get ready for our directors for, to prepare uh, for 13 News at 10. But that is good news that we are starting to watch the severe threat subside with this one um, in terms of the tornadic uh, possibilities that we do have out there. The tornado warning has will be allowed to expire in about the next 10 seconds. So at this point, that tornado warning will be coming down. That is good news um, as we continue to watch these storms race on through the region. But in the meantime, we're going to turn it over to Darby Bean with the latest headlines as 13 News at 10 begins to start right now.